Hello everybody, this is Amel and today I'm going to show you how to solve the count and say problem. The count and say sequence is the sequence of integers with the first five terms as the following. The first term is a 1, the second term is 1-1, one, one. the third term 2-1, fourth term 1-2, one, 1-1, one, one. five term 1-1, one, 1-2, one, one, two, two, one. So, given an integer n, generate the nth term of the count and say sequence. So as you can see, the first term of the sequence is always 1. And then every term uh, is based on the previous term. So for instance, the second term is based on the previous term. So you have to count uh, each element and then you say the count and then the element. For instance, the second term is based on the previous term. So you say 1, 1. That means that there's a 1 in the previous term. Then the third term is based on the second term. So you count and you say there are 2, 1. So that's why you see 2, 1. Also, the fourth term. So you count the previous term. There is 1, 2. And there is 1, 1. The fifth term is there is 1, 1. There is 1, 2. There are 2, 1. So that's how you generate the sequence uh, count and say. So how can we solve this problem? So to solve this problem we can iterate n minus 1 times in order to get to the nth term. Initially we start with the first term uh, as the final result which is 1 and then we iterate n minus 1 times because we already have the first term. And as we go we use the previous term to count and build the current term. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write a code. First, I'm going to validate the input. So if n is less than or equal to 0, I return the empty string because the first term is 1. So that would be invalid. Then I'm going to have string result because the value of 1, as I said, this is the first term. So at the end, I returned the final result. Then, because I already have the first term, I have to have a loop that is going to run n minus 1 times. So while n is greater than 1, at every iteration, I subtract 1 from n. So that way, I'm going to execute this code n minus 1 time to get to the nth term. Then I want to build the current term so I'm going to use a string builder. cur gets the value of new string builder. So here why am I using a string builder and not a string? Well a string is an immutable uh, type in Java so what that means is that if I use a string for concatenation, if I want to append to a string inside a loop, that's not going to be efficient because a, a, a new object will be created every iteration. But the string builder is mutable. So appending to a string builder is, is efficient, um, especially inside loops. So remember that string builder is mutable. So that's why I use the string builder to build my current term. So then I'm going to have to go through the previous term for integer i because value of 0 i is less than result.length plus plus i. I'm going to go through the previous term and I have to count how many times each element appears. So integer count because the value of 1. And then while i plus 1 is less than rest that length and rest that char at i equals equals rest that char at i plus 1. So I want to make sure that if the if this element is the same as the next element then I increment the count because I'm counting how many times 
this number appears in the previous term. And I make sure that it is always within bounds. So i plus 1 is less than the length of the previous term. And I also increment i. After this, then I know uh, how many times the element of position i appears. So I can build my current term by saying cur that append first account and then append res.char at i. As you can see, this loop is going to terminate when this element of position i is different to the next element. So uh, this element is the one that I got the count for. So this is going to build the current term. So at the end, I want to update my final result. Result gets a value of cur that to string. So since this while loop is going to execute n minus one time, at the end, this result is going to have the final answer. And I return it. So let me run the code. It seems to be working fine, so submit the, the code. Okay, so this is working perfectly. So please press the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time.